Papa connects older adults to college students for companionship, assistance, and transportation, really focused on reducing loneliness and isolation among older adults. And we started working with Humana about a year and a half ago to really do just that, to provide a program to them where they're able to get access to a Papa Pal, which is what we call our companions who go to the house to hang out and help out with the seniors to you know, teach them to use computers and technology and to engage them with the community, but really focus around reducing loneliness that has a huge negative effect on their lives. The bonds that are being formed by the Papa Pals with our members are really unique. And through those unique relationships and in-person interactions, we can not only impact loneliness, but have the opportunity to identify and address other clinical and social health needs. Humana is really interested in building a longitudinal health record where we integrate not just traditional health data like EHR data and claims, but also data that comes from remote monitoring solutions, from virtual care solutions, and from pilots like Pop-Up. Physicians love the fact that they uh, now have a resource where they can provide a Pop-Up Health to Humana members in their community. It was introduced to me through my insurance. It's a good, good program, and I imagine it helps a lot of people, because a lot of people are lonely because they don't have anybody to talk to or anybody to visit. It made my mom smile, it made my mom happy, it made me overjoyed, and I just have to say thank you so much for the program. I have something to look forward to, knowing that they're coming on time, one day a week, and that makes me happy. What's unique about the Papa Pal and relationship with the Humana member is they really do form bonds and trust, which allows them to be confident and tell the pals things that they otherwise may not be telling their physician or may not be telling their health plan. And we get things like members saying, I haven't eaten you know, this, that much this week. We hit off at first uh, pretty easily. So we started talking and we got comfortable with each other. There's so many statistics about people overusing the ED, uh, emergency department. Uh, readmitting to the hospital, not taking their medication, not eating their food, and really a lot of this has to do with the negative impacts of social determinants of health, especially loneliness and isolation. Just imagine an 80-year-old woman or male sitting in a home, lonely and isolated, thinking about that all the time, and suddenly a pop pal comes in. It's almost like a magical moment uh, that we're able to provide. We're not going to always be there and always be available, and so to also leverage the pop pals to be ambassadors for other things. Humana is doing a lot of great things in the community, but a pop-up pal can come and inform your members of what those things are and let them know that, hey, there's a Humana app. Hey, there's other benefits that are offered to you. And then in that case, the pop-up pal is also, in addition to being a companion, an ambassador to Humana.